Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PSN review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Siren Blood Curse, which if you've never played it before, it's basically a survival horror game. It's a quite short survival horror game, but like, then again, look at Resident Evil, I can be beaten in an hour and a half and it's still great. But while it is short for the PSN, it's still a hell of a lot longer and harder than 99% of away games. So, you know. Anyway. Start here, you've got episodes. I've got all 12 on the uh, thing. I've downloaded the full game as I see it. But if you haven't got all of them, then it'll just basically be some of them will be blanked out. And you can go on them at any point once you've got them. So if you're like struggling on a particular episode, maybe the one where you have to play as a little girl who just has to stealth around, which I hate that level, then you can just skip to the one with a guy with a gun. <laughs> archives, just how many archive pieces you've found. Online manuals, the online manual. Because obviously, being a downloadable game, it's going to have it. Although, I, I think there is now a disc version of it. I'm not sure. Obviously, I downloaded it when it came out. And I don't know if the disc version ever did appear. But, uh, options though, you've got things like inverting the views and all that. And viewing how you want the map to be on and stuff. So anyway, I'll just uh, go on to the first episode. When you play them for the first time, you basically get, like, cutscenes and all that. And then, at the end of the chapters and all that, then it brings you up saying what's going to be on the next episode. Which I don't see the point of, because... It kind of like spoils some of the stuff. It just seems a bit pointless to us. But anyway, this one here, I'm a guy and I've got to escape from the police officer. So I'll just shut up for a little bit and let you try and soak in the atmosphere because being survival hover, that's mainly what it's about. So anyway, this is one of the things you can do. You can just basically find places to hide. Some of the characters have special powers, like being able to actually go into the mind of the the enemy, so you can basically see exactly what the enemy's seeing, so you can see if they're right next to you, or like if it's a good idea to uh, come out of the hiding spot to run again. And some of them just allow you, uh, well, it's part of the same power really, but it allows you to still find where all the immediate enemies are. Uh, as I say, this, you can get weapons and all that. I mean, I've picked up a sake bottle already, and that means I can just bash things over the head. You can get guns and that, so I'm going to swap to the guy who's got the sniper rifle now. So there we go then. Although, to be fair, it's not really a sniper rifle. It's actually a shotgun, but it gives you a sniper zoom on it, which... Very weird, very odd. Shotguns are not going to work from that far away, but you never know. It's just one of them things with games, really, I suppose. It's just the same as, like, green and blue dragons aren't really going to be able to spit bubbles around to trap enemies to capture them. Bubble bobble, in case you don't know. It's, uh, anyway, though, it, as I say, it's a survival horror game. While it's not the longest game out there, it's definitely worth the money that you pay for it, because you're not paying a full-price game. And it's just one of them that, if you like survival horrors, I personally think it's a very good one, and I'd love to see more of it, or a sequel or something, because I've really been enjoying the story of it. I've been enjoying the, uh, just going around hiding, sneaking around, shooting things and all that, so... It's a very solid title, and graphically it looks pretty good, but most of the graphics are, like... Well, fuzzy as hell, because the whole point is it's supposed to be fuzzy. So it's not fuzzy out of the fact of that it's got bad graphics or anything, it's just supposed to be like that. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games, because that's based purely on opinion, so instead, I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid, or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask, and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there. And don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.